How's it going, y'all? Alrighty, I was back with another video. We are coming at you with some more moth X today from the boys. And like, I was waiting. I was like, he's like 250 right now. They're gonna reissue him because it's like the main character, even though he's the bad guy. He's the worst guy. Uh, he's the main character of the show, so they have to reissue him. They have to make a new one. And of course, um, like a few weeks before, I was about to be like, I just need him. Uh, they announced the reissue, and I pre-ordered him. And like two or three months later. Here we go. We have the Moth X Homelander from the boys. So now we have Butcher, Starlight, and Homelander. Um, I'm hoping to get Soldier Boy because Jensen Ackles. Um, I want that. And then I think they have an A-Train coming and there's also a Black Noir that's out. And I think that's it so far. So there's like three that I have and three that I don't have. But this guy was so expensive. So reissues, always great. So with all that being said, let's take a close look at the box and we'll get this bad boy open. Taking a look at the box, you can see it says the boys Homelander and we've got his logo, Moth X, Medicom toys, all that good stuff. Of course, the figure in the window. On this side, we have uh, the favorite character of people who are missing the point. And on the back, more shots of the figure and it says the boys and Moth X Homelander. And then some Japanese with all the different accessories, the head sculpts and features, etc. Yada yada. On this side, another shot of the figure with the Medicom toys, a sticker so you know it's legit. Top of the box, bottom of the box, and with all that being said, can someone say mommy issues? Here is our Moth X Homelander out of the box. As you can see, he was uh, kind of worth the wait. I'm glad I didn't overpay for him because you know, $100 is about the cap as what he's worth, but the details are super nice. I'm zooming in super slowly. You can see the textures on his suit and you know, that face looks like Anthony Starr. And then we've got, you know, all the different textures of the suit, the wired cape in the red and white, because you know, he's, and then the stars up top because he's the Homelander. He's, you know, the representation of freedom in American way, except he's the bastardization of that. And everything that's wrong with this country essentially is, um, encapsulated in this character and um, it really represents a certain person while and what they think of themselves and what they actually are is the complete opposite which is a sniveling little band baby which is exactly what Homelander is underneath all the uh, layers and everything so he's kind of a complex character in the show but also as complex as he is he's just as shallow so, you know, it's it's a really cool figure. There's lots of cool things. The boot design, the colors, it's all really well done. Moth X really knocked it out of the park with this. I was gonna get the Figma one, but he's like even smaller in scale than Moth X and he would have looked way out of whack. So I'm like totally glad I waited for this uh, Moth X Homelander. But yeah, really, really nice details. Um, can't see any pain issues and no articulation issues. Um, the likeness isn't perfect, but it's pretty, pretty, pretty darn good. Um, he looks a little bit on the younger side with these head sculpts, but it's season one Homelander, so it's kind of fair, but just a really cool figure all around. And he feels really nice. And yeah, I mean, Homelander. Checking out his height, let's see here. I think he's about six inches, but we'll see if I'm right. He is just, oh, he's actually a little bit over. He's about almost six and a half, six and a quarter inches. Going over the articulation, starting at the head, we get forward that far, back that far, so kind of limited there. Um, side to side is decent. Shoulders come up on, oh, uh, about 90 degrees. As you can see, those shoulder pieces get out of the way. Sorry, I was out of shot. 90 degrees, those shoulder pieces get out of the way. There is a butterfly joint and a bicep cut, so these are articulated is what I'm trying to say. We get um, double elbows that come in almost 90 degrees uh no wrist cut but we do get ball pegs at the wrist um a ball peg at the torso and at the waist so he can go forward uh oh his chest piece fell off backwards legs come forward we do have a slight drop down uh no thigh cut double knee can't he can very easily kick his own butt no boot cut but we do get ball peg rockers and toe articulation so for instance, oh, I zoomed out way too far. If you wanted to have him flying, well, I see that, but um, can totally get him in a flying pose. I may have to turn that ball peg around. I don't know. Give me a second. Eh, it didn't really help much, but also the cape is wired, so you could get the cape, you know, flowing up behind him because he's flying up in the air or whatever most poses 
you can hit him pretty well. So articulation is pretty good, but that should be expected. It's an import, it's a MoffX, you know? So we do get quite a few accessories and I will slot them out and, sh and stuff. But sometimes with, with the imports in the hands and stuff, it's easier to just show you them. Uh, but it may not be in this point. I don't know. Let's see if I can hold this up without everything falling out. You can see we've got one, two, three, four, uh, five sets of hands. There's some pointing hands, some gesturing hands, some thumb pointing hands, and then you see they all went some open hands. And then we've got two extra head sculpts, one with his laser beam eyes, which looks really nice, and then one with him smiling which also looks really nice. And then we get a swappable piece for that chest. You saw it pop off, but I will swap the heads and the hands and all that stuff from here. I just wanted to show you guys that because it's a pain in the butt to deal with all the hands and that stuff sometimes and you swap the heads in front of you. But there you can see pretty dang well, actually, those head sculpts. I wish it would have come with some like lasers to actually stick in his eyes with that, but it is what it is. Let's get some of these swapped. Oh, and he also comes with a stand that you have to put together. I'm not going to deal with it right now because I have a bunch, but yeah, MoffX always be good with those stands. There you go. I swapped ahead. We've got the laser hand. He's pointing at the guy. He's about to vaporize. And then I swapped that chest piece and uh, you can see it just has two little pegs and you just line them up and you swap the chest piece. So yeah, cool accessories, cool figure. Um, Hype to have him, so let's get into comparisons. First up, here he is with the Moth X, Billy Butcher, and Starlight. And I fully believe that next season, Bully, Billy Butcher is going to unalive Homelander with that crowbar at some point. It's going to happen. Here he is with some Marvel Legends, some SH Figure Arts, Moth X, Harley Quinn, and CT Toys Black Suit Spider Man, Haya Toys, Judge Dredd, and Loose Collectors Red Sonia for some more uh, indie comic book stuff. And lastly, some Joy Toy and Valibers. So with all that being said, y'all, I will say that the Moth X Homelander is totally worth it to me because, like I said, I was about to grab him for way more than I got him for because they re-released him and I was like, they're going to do it, they're going to do it, and they did. So totally worth it to me because I had him for retail, which is always good. And if you guys think this video is good or you liked it or you just like had a good time, hit the like button. Hit subscribe if you're not already subscribed to this point. Check out the Patreon for early videos for a dollar a month. Check out my two giveaway videos. We're doing one for 2.5 and one for 3K. Comment, let me know what you think of this figure, if you already have him, if you're going to pick him up on the reissue, how your day is going, if you can't wait for the boys season 5, just let me know what's up. As always, they love you. I will see you next time, and bye-bye.